Welcome back. In this video, let's look at how to make the code much better by refactoring further. One important thing that we need to uh, discuss is uh, that now what is happening here is we are exposing the entire list of students outside. So if you look at the course instance class, what it's returning back is the list of students. So this, from the perspective of encapsulation, this is not a good way of implementing this uh, thing. Uh, any like anybody from outside is directly able to take the student's object and modify it ideally that should not be the way we should implement this uh, thing uh, so let's go ahead and now uh, use it in a proper way let's go ahead and write a test for it first uh, the proper way of doing it would be to actually for course instance to offer me a interface to be able to I'll call it test proper adding of students. So the ideal way should have been uh, a new course instance of uh, doesn't matter. Then I would should be able to something of this kind. So course instance, what we want to do is add student. So I would want to be able to do add student of something. So add student of what we want to add in is a new student. So I'll go and add in a new student and after that I would want to be able to uh, add in another student by name student 2 and then I would want to be able to say something of this kind. Uh, I would want to be able to say uh, course student dot uh, course instance dot get the second student for example get student of probably get student zero so i would want to get the student zero and get his name and get student one and get his name an interface of this kind actually doesn't expose the internal implementation of the uh, student list so what happens now let's change this code uh, let's create these interfaces and see what happens so I'm going to create a method add student void student so let's actually go ahead and implement that right now what I would want to be able to do is this dot students dot add student I would also want to be able to initialize it in the uh, constructor so I would also say uh, this dot students is equal to new array list so in the constructor when the class is created I'm creating a new array list and assigning that to students uh, obviously I have to do the import java dot util dot array list so array list of what that's another thing so student just to be very precise uh, the next thing what we would need is to create a get method so I would want actually a get method control one uh, and create method get method of I and what I want to do is here this dot students dot get of I I could have actually even went little further down and created a method of this kind so I could have created a method which says get name of student I so that would actually get get I dot students dot get name and would return the name back this would return a string back so I would so this would be even better so that the internal details of this course instance class remains to itself and I would actually do now is get name of student zero so I would now 
check whether for two also this holds get one and this is what I call a proper adding of students. I'm not going to remove the other stuff for now because I just want to make sure that this is working before I go and remove the other stuff. Perfect. This works. So now I'm able to uh, read. If you look at from the perspective of uh, the test, if you look at the test adding of students and test proper adding of students, what we are telling the, the test knows the internal implementation that it's a list. So here, uh, what we are exposing here to the test is the internal implementation of course instance. So if I change the course instance object, let's say, for example, uh, I'm going to change the course instance uh, list to some other type. So let's say I instead of a list of students, I would want to use a hash map of students. As soon as I've changed this, if you look at, if I want to change this, internal representation of it uh, what happens if i change the internal representation of this to hash map let's say hash map and change it everywhere to hash map for example i would just for now just for the sake of illustration i would just change the getters and setters so i would change this to hash map for example and also here i would want to change this to hash map so if you look at the course instance test right now so i would save this and just go back to course instance test if you look at it this method of proper adding of students does not get impacted at all because it doesn't even know that it's the uh, course instance class is using a student internally i mean uh, array list internally here i'm exposing that fact here so uh, this is where the code inside the course instance is really encapsulated so the course the users of the course instance object if i define an interface as in the proper adding of uh, students if i define an interface like that doesn't even know that uh, like they are using an array list inside so uh, now what i'm going to do is actually go back to the course instance just undo the changes i've done about hash map get it to a proper state and get back to course instance test i'll go ahead and remove uh, the earlier ways of creating the test so i would remove the test adding of students because i don't want to add it in this way i would want to use a proper interface and i also want to go ahead and uh, remove the calculation of average to use the same interface so I would want to be able to say here course instance dot add student student one uh, similar stuff down here too course instance dot add student student 2 so that's perfect I guess and I'll, I can remove this piece of code and I don't need to set the students at all because I don't need them now let's run this test and make sure it's running fine run JNET test that's good now all that remains is let's remove the unused methods uh, or the ex the things which we are exposing from uh, the we don't nobody needs to see the students and nobody needs to set the values so all the logic of being a list is now inside this and whatever i would want to change it to let's say i want to change it to error list instead of using a list i can change it without affecting anything outside so that's really the beauty of uh, using it this way uh, encapsulating all the logic inside the course instance let's look at the course instance test and do a small refactoring uh, the good thing right now is all our tests in course instance tests most of the tests at least are really good so i can look at the test and say test creation it's fine now test proper adding of students i would rather call it test adding of students because right now it's properly added and uh, test calculation of average that's good 
uh, except that I'm seeing a lot of stuff in here which actually prevents me from understanding this test properly so I would I want to see if I can make this a little more simpler so I'll probably extract this out to a method uh, control alt shift M or command alt M is um, to extract a method out so I'm going to extract a method out so I will call it create students the only important parameter for me is marks I don't really worry about the name of the student in this test whatever it is so I'll just call it create students with marks and I want to be able to pass in the parameter marks so I want to pass in 25 so I would want to actually uh, do a, add a parameter so you can use actually uh, a refactoring which is already available in Eclipse introduce parameter the way you need to get it is right click refactor introduce parameter or you can use the shortcut key all shift R so either way introduce parameter int and I want to call it marks so what you can see right now is actually the way Eclipse behaves you can actually see that uh, the Eclipse automatically created the parameter 25 and created sorry created the parameter 25 to the argument marks and it's really good so now uh, this is being done so I would rather now inline this variable that's all shift I so I'm inlining the variable so I'm adding a new student with marks 25 that's really good and I would actually now the rest of the stuff here is adding a new student with marks 26 and D control D and this is really good now so if I so I'm adding a student with marks 25 I'm adding a student with marks 26 and I'm checking whether the average math score is 25 plus 26 by 2.0 perfect this is a really good refactoring uh, now I would go ahead and run the JUnit test and see if it's fine that's good so this is a real good refactoring because it helps me understand the test easier so any small change in code that you'd want to do is made easy by writing proper tests and following the test first development approach we are creating more videos as we speak and if you want to stay updated don't forget to click the subscribe button if you like this video please give a thumbs up and feel free to share this video thanks for watching until next time